<lacht> Wunderbar, schön sind wir wieder da äh, für diesen letzten Outro mit der äh, Five drauf Workshop Ergebnisse. Wir haben einiges gehackt diesen äh, Tag äh, und die letzten zwei, drei Tage habe ich auch mein Bestes gemacht, nochmal ähm, Informationen zu dem Thema Flöten äh, zu geben. I will say this in English just like the other time uh, as well. I, we had a great time uh, to, during the workshop in, uh, today on working on flutes and hacking uh, simple things like a hole in something to blow on it to see if there's any sound inside. So, and I prepared some flutes on the internet, on the website, people could download it. I thought we would have some 3D printing uh, going on and actually uh, I noticed myself that it was a very short time to actually make a new flute. I printed one that is a completely new uh, nightly build design, but unfortunately due to the very little limited time, I couldn't print it in the right size. So it might work in the right size, but this is too small. I figured that out. I want to introduce uh, Gandalf. He's the one that uh, participated here in the um, Bitwäscherei. Also here in the Bitwäscherei haben wir heute mit live mit Gandalf uh, diesen Workshop durchgeführt. Da werden wir also nachher gleiche Ergebnisse zeigen. Ich würde nur noch gerade erzählen, dass ich das zu klein gedrückt habe, mangels Zeit, weshalb ich nicht weiß, ob mein eigenes Ergebnis jetzt was geworden ist oder nicht. Ich muss es nochmal größer drucken. Vielleicht funktioniert dann wieder eine Pfeife die ähnlich wie diese Pfeife funktioniert, wo dann ein extra Luftkanal das Wasser ähm, beeinflusst. Das ist diese Flöte, die ähm, jetzt als Ausgangslager auch gedient hat. Aber wir sind eigentlich dazu gekommen, um alles zu einer Flöte zu machen. Es ist egal, wie es aussieht, was es kann. Es soll nur vielleicht ein bisschen Resonance Body haben. Ich zeige gleich noch ein anderes Ergebnis. Das hat jetzt sehr gut getönt. Das tönt weniger gut, wenn ich da Wasser rauslasse. Zum Beispiel kurz hier rein. Kann man noch kurz den Echtheitsgehalt überprüfen. Ja, geht auch noch. Wenn ich jetzt noch ein bisschen rausnehme. Du, das sind die Flöte, die kann ich nachher auch gerne noch spielen, weil wir machen ja Performance und keinen Workshop. Der Ton sinkt langsam. Und dann kriegen wir gleich einen Punkt, wo der kaum noch hörbar ist. Auf einmal ist diese schöne Resonanzkörper weg. Ja, der bleibt noch relativ gut. Good. Ich lüge. Also, this is not exactly the experiment I wanted to do. But I'm going to go over to Gandalf, who did the uh, right workshop uh, today. He hacked a beautiful uh, instrument, and I'm going to leave him telling and explaining it by himself, if you don't mind. Thank you. This yeah, brilliant workshop. I enjoyed it. Before I get into that part, I was wondering about this one. So you said you didn't have the time to print it at the proper scale. So, have you even tried it? Or yes, yes, I will try it for you another time, but um, it is actually... I was worried because the, the resonance body is going to change, affect the frequency, basically. So, you might end up with a frequency of like 30 kilohertz, which is not beyond our audible... Could be possible, could, could be, be possible, possible, yeah. But dogs, you could still call a dog with it. Or Maybe, annoying, let's least. see if a dog appears right now when I whistle chicken. this one. Or a chicken. What's the audible range of all that? Okay, yeah, that's annoying. Thank you. It is working a bit, but so it's you easy. see the, the dogs dog. are coming in. Right. Oh. Just, so um, about the workshop we just had, um, pipe valve, which happened in this in the workshop behind this wall, basically. I would like to give a bit of the theoretical under well, blah, 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 the underlying theory that uh, yeah. the were talking, which is also like so it's. It, it's complicated really quickly because it's not fluid dynamics, but I'll show you the, the beautiful drawing that Casper made for me. And um, let's have a look what we can see. So over here, oh, it's all twisted. So this is basically what you need in order to create a whistling noise. Is you have a you have a laminar flow of air, which is just the air flowing nicely, gently, not heavily. You make that move across a sharp edge. 
which you see somewhere uh, 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 here, there's a sharp edge where you blow over, which separates the airflow into two into two flows, and and you see these little these little uh, what are these called vortexes, which is the turbulence you cause by splitting the air into a from a laminar into a turbulent flow, and the the size of the vortex is not the size of this turbulence, basically is an oscillation that creates um, a pressure wave, which is, if it's in the, um, in a, in the right uh, range of the acoustic spectrum, is audible to human beings. Is that how, how it works? I was exactly uh, underlining it by experimentation, and I tried to follow uh, a sound that creates the understanding of this. Because, because it's, it's all invisible. invisible. Wind and the vortex and the sound is in this sense totally invisible. So also that's what I think you noticed uh, in the workshop as well. It's really hard to basically see this invisible thing hitting that edge and let it uh, yeah, uh, imagine to, to fluctuate with 50 hertz or more in, in this sense. Absolutely, yeah, it's a fluid, it's, the, the funny thing is like, I, I'm into paragliding, so I'm, I'm quite mm -hmm. familiar with flying in this medium, which is a liquid, really. Yeah, that is, it, uh, it behaves like a liquid, so it's all fluid mechanics, which just gets super complicated very, very, very quickly. Yeah, and, and the, the thing, thing is, is, I would, I would love to make, make underwater flutes that do the same with water, yeah? Basically, I'm on the edge of uh, discovering how to make a flute that sounds underwater, yeah? The water's not compressible. I mean, that's going to have a huge effect. It's going to have a, it's, well, we have a lot of uh, uh, ships having their uh, propulsion in the water that does something like that, an edge through the water, yeah? No, but that's because, with, that's that's because, because when the blade goes supersonic, it creates a, mm, what do you call that? <laughs> it turns the gas, no, 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 the uh, way, are you talking about propellers of ships? Well, I'm, I'm thinking of how to make a flute underwater. So we said air is uh, uh, underlying the laws of fluid dynamics. And then what would happen? How big should a flute be when you put it underwater to have a similar creation of a frequency that would be audible? Oh, Maybe in a different medium. Yeah, yeah in a different medium. Up. Yeah, 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 yeah. In so heavy, heavy mechanic, it's much more denser. I need to I need to figure that out. Maybe we yeah. invent a diamond whistle for this. Why not to cut the water in the right uh, way? So Nothing wrong with that. So, yeah. Sure. Shall I maybe show what I've been? Please, your design is a, is with. a fabulous uh, well, piece. All, <laughs> yeah, thank you so a much. Fabulous piece of uh, psychological uh, seduction. I do no, have to say. Don't do that. I will oh, not spoil anything. Okay, I want to present the work of my workshop. So I call this device of the Chinese uh, art experiment. It comes. It's like a handheld device. It's got some batteries in it. It's got a button for um, LED. It's got another button for something else. And it had a, um, a cavity about this with the, so this batteries, electronics, with coils and stuff in there, some, some circuitry. And you've got a cavity about here. So Casper was like, and Casper was pitching his workshop, but I was like, so I've got a ball pen and the, this thing that I'm currently looking at. And he was like, yeah, it's good enough. This is going to be always. So we basically, yeah. And then for the sizing of this cavity, and this is where your experience comes in. Apparently you need, for, for this, so the way, this is your edge that you need to flow air onto, like a hard mm, flow of air onto the edge. And the distance, and I guess, guess this will define the frequency, maybe. Why do we need then two centimeters? Well, you need that uh, similar airflow. To get uh, it laminar. Yeah, to get right, the okay. one, one stream. So the, the, idea, the idea is to have the air as laminar as possible here and as, as turbulent as possible afterwards. Exactly. Lock it up as hard as you can. Yes, then you can. All right. So this is what I attempted to do basically by drilling into, by drilling into this plastic tube underneath. I qualified it because it's prettier that way. So basically, we, we figured we're going to turn this part here into, uh, into an edge by trembling around. Like this, like this angle, right? The right angle that we need, that the master told me. How many degrees is that? Anyways, what's the recommended uh, as sharp as possible depending on the material? Through air. We could try to add a, because it's not, to be honest, it's not fully working right now. So we're in the process of getting it to work for the, for the audible whistling part. I can show you. So I've got, yeah. the way I, 
because it's my first flute instrument, basically, I decided I want a modular design where I can play with different mouthpieces. Covid proof. So this is, yeah, also for safety reasons, obviously. So this is a mouthpiece which has a large entry and a small exit or the other way around. So if you want to flip it, you create, so if you blow in here, it will, a faster flow will come out here because of the Venturi effect, which accelerates the... What's going on? Yeah. What? <laughs> And? and you do it the other way around, you'll slow your flow, flow down. Yeah. So let's try. So I will now, the thing is, if I look right here through my device, I can just barely see the edge that I'm trying to hit. So this is the direction that my air needs to take. So now I can even see the edge through this device. Now let's see. So this is not working very well, what you heard was uh, something else in the room. Let's try So I made a bigger uh, mouthpiece with a, which still accelerates the flow, but has a bit of a uh, broader exit. Let's see how that works. Put it straight in line on the edge. Still no joy. No. So I'll take it straight pipe now. I just go by one to one translation on my flock. But the thing is, I will hit my walls, which are hot glue, which are a mess of hot glue. They definitely could mess up my flock. So I don't think this is going to work either. And that's about as good as it's going to get for now with my I think this one is going to work. Demo. Oh. Okay, so what I've been thinking is either my edge isn't sharp enough. So if I, when, once I dremeled it, it was all molten and messed up. So I've been sharpening it a bit with it. But they cut it, so I'll try to sharpen it a bit more, and then I'll think I'll have to play with the distance. And I think the canal isn't properly free yet, so I'll also maybe first I'll start by dremeling the canal a bit bigger in order to have less obstruction within my this is the cavity for acoustic cavity, or the echo chamber basically, right? Is this called an echo chamber? The thing that I'm building inside my it's a resonance body, baby. Resonance body. All right. So I'll try to broaden my resonance body up because I've got the mess of hot glue in there. Yes, yeah. Maybe that will do. Because I can't reach it with any instrument. It's stuck solely with more power, more better. This would be a brilliant use case for a USB microscope. So you can actually, so you can look at the very, very detailed inside view of your. Where the, where's my hole now? <laughs> there. So I need to clean up a bit more with this ball pen device, which is you find that in. And it's good for pipe debugging. We found out. So whenever you have some hot glue stuck in your pipe. You can try to just force your way through it with a bit of hope. I have little hope that this has changed much, but it's with mechanics, you never know.
I'm way too high. Now, what do you think my frequency is, if there was a frequency at this point? I think there's a, a workable way to push the button to get it uh, anyway sounding. It actually works better for blowing here, which is a bit disappointing. There's, there's a pan flute, flute that, no, there's a rare flute, what's that called? Yeah, you, you hit it at a... What's the image rare flute? I, rare flute, it's got a super yeah, a record or something, no? I also know what you mean, but I forgot the word. It's a weird word. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, maybe somebody can put it in the chat. If, uh, so what else have we got? Anything? Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, so, I'm kind of sad about my pipe not working yet, so I'll try to destroy something else in the meantime. I'll work on it uh, after uh, you have a year time now to work on it and we see each other next year on the same workshop and uh, sure. this ends. Well, I was thinking, I've got this data structure here. It's a visualization of a data structure by Maria uh, Tereshnikovska. You saw her presentation earlier yesterday or something. So the sociologist, data scientist, Healthy aging, generated accumulation of resources for her topics, and she does these um, 3D prints of her data models, which I think might make for a good pipe. Maybe anything can make for a good pipe. Anything to can the work. Anything, maybe so. even this way is here. So getting into, I think there is a, there's going to be a like a cool. Honeycomb structure inside, which is usually your your uh, slicing program does for you. Let's just have a look. Please uh, look inside of the data structure. Oh, it's hard to gonna be worried about hurting myself so I'm probably use the right tool for the job, which might be a side cutter in this case. Yeah. Turns out it's a Dremel. Inside the data structure now, I, I can feel the various layers of honeycomb. So to broaden the access to the data structure a bit to get a better view. Yeah, looking good, looking good. So we've got a first glimpse at the data here. Maybe just prettify the edge a bit. There you go. Fuck knows what that is. It's a bit messed up by the Dremel because the Dremel, the way I write, if I run it too quickly, it tends to melt the PLA a bit, so everything is a bit. Would you like to have a look at the data structure and I think, what yeah. we can do from an acoustics point of view about this? I think you should hit it all the way through and got the same edge right here and cut off the top of the data Yes. and then blow through it. Alright, let's cut the top off first. Yeah, I would make say it. Make, it, make it maybe with the Dremel. Why? Or with the, a yeah, I actually like it. Come on, do it with the cutter. It's all working. It's a cleaner cut if I just go like. It's a model of world. All right, we got the top off. Let's get further into the back. Aha, no, wait. And you say, so our edge, this is important because we need to design our. Yeah, I think you have this prototype uh, design uh, from earlier. Ah. Yeah, but that was an easy one because you basically got a pipe. You just need to do this cut. Exactly, but this is a pipe. If you look at it, right, right, it's, it's a pipe. So yeah. how is this you a want pipe me to do now? This, uh, what the, how is and this, this is a swing to... one. To uh -huh. swing it around, yeah. Be careful, yeah, yeah. There's a small one. I might want to hold on to it because I'm going to go at high velocity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is this going to hold? I hope so. How many G? Uh, it's four. four, four G, five G this time. What's your head? What's your arm? Uh, Maybe it's, better. It, it's hurting. I hit it already my knee with it for. I don't four have much space. I would like a big. Like a 
I would like like a three meter diameter, which make make it easier. I don't Definitely, know but then you have to do it somewhere, somewhere else. No, that's all good. Can you, no? you, you want to try this one? Can you play this yeah, one? Yeah, I can play this um, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, actually, this one is also a very nice one. That looks like the one for me. That would like. Is that a wood? Let's try it this way. We can also. Swingy. We can also swing it. What this are these way. called? Swingy, soundy. I call things. them omni flutes. Oh, the I just yeah. I just broke broke the. You could have told me that the oh, lanyard yeah, that opens. Is a, that is a bit of a, of the a safety nasty one. You call your wrist yeah, those, the lanyard. I'm not of the safety type of guy. Yes. I'm more of the risk. Uh, well, I think I've got a good one here. Exactly. Oh, it's nice. Because it oscillates around its axis. And then you get different... Oh, it's a pretty... Oh, it's a pretty noise. You can hear the whistle. Oh, that's good stuff. Let me get another one. Not the dog one. Oh, you want this one if you I want? really like the water one. Well, I'd, I'd like one to one to throw one to the one you like. One to turn one, one to blow and one to uh, let, me, let me do this one and you take the other one. Or you wanna have this one and uh, I think I can't the really take mine because that's not gonna work good. That one to suck and blow. It's that looks nice and, and organic. Is this easy to play? It's uh, not that easy to play actually. No, you have to. Um, I think challenge this one, accepted. This one or that one? Yeah, that one is easy to play. Yeah, you have to put your mouth challenge over failed. it. Challenge failed. Which was that one? No, this one. This one is really easy. This one. Yeah, it's really easy. Yeah, it looks good. So, so let's try this. Oh, it's a bit of uh, moisture, hot glue. Everything working here. That's all right. I just got it. It's very moist, so it's slippery. Yeah, Let me just get into the position for the. So you had the big I'll be with you in 20 seconds. I will try to get the bus done. Is this our is this our like finishing performance then? Yes, yes. This is the end. Uh, What's the how many minutes? Closing in. Coming by. Should I have brought my karaoke mic? What you feel comfortable with. Yeah, smart. You can also make a notch in that thing if you like, eh? It's probably safe, otherwise it might fly. As you prefer. Off at some point. It's, anyway, seven minutes. What are we minutes. playing? We are seven minutes playing. Beethoven. Exactly. Beethoven for purists. The yes. fourth, I guess. The, the flute concert, right? I got the... Okay, Let's I think everybody on. knows what we're talking about. Yeah. We definitely know what we're doing. Yeah. Enjoy.
to fix it to fucking operate in place. Thank you very much for participating. Very, um, very inspiring workshop. Thank you very Thanks much. Thanks a lot for sharing. Comparing. Thank you for coming on this beautiful congress happening right online. Have a good ask, you three.